I hope that the online tests and quizzes feature is mostly pretty self-explanatory, but I figured it couldn't hurt to walk you through it. So here we back are back on our uh, course home. You can get to the quizzes in one of two ways. I mean, each quiz is attached to a unit. So like the section 1.3 quiz can be got into by going to the 1.3 unit, scrolling down and clicking on it. Or if you prefer, you can go to the tests and quizzes tab. Let's click on this sample quiz and make a few comments as we go. All quizzes are due Saturday, 11.55 p.m. So like you know, going back to the course home, Going back to the course home, you see week one. And week one has these units, and each of these units has a quiz, and all of these quizzes are due Saturday of the first week, 11.55 p.m. That does not to me in that I want you to wait until Saturday to take the quizzes. Certainly not. It just means that they all have that common due date. You know, if Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are super busy for you and you can't take the section 1.1 1 .1 and 1.2 quizzes what right away, you have a little time to work with. Back to the tests and quizzes, back to the sample quiz. There is never any time limit to any of these quizzes. You just need to get it submitted before the due date. Um, all of these quizzes can be submitted once. And my logic is that these quizzes are taking the place of, you know, homework traditional homework. And ordinarily, you do a homework assignment, you submit it. You don't then submit it the second time. So that's the logic behind this. And let's begin the assessment. Question one. These are basically all going to be multiple choice. In this case, my name is Gregory Moses. We don't have to click save. I'm not sure what that button is even there for. We just click next. We get to question two. Now, suppose you can't do a quiz question. You can suspend these quizzes and restart them again. So if you're stumped on question two and you need to check your notes or go to the forums and ask for me to help, you can just click exit, continue, and you are out of the quiz. Now there is one sort of minor irritant here. When you go back to the quiz, you start at the first question, but you note that your answer to the first question has been saved. So you just have to keep clicking next until you get to the question you were struggling with. Question three, 
once again, I mean, I won't ignore emails, but I really do prefer the forums for asking specific quiz questions. Last question, it's kind of a disclaimer. I do check the forums regularly, but ordinarily I check the forums during the work week before 5 p.m. So if you wait until the very last minute and then you um you have some kind of problem, there's no guarantee that I'm going to be able to get back to you promptly before the quiz due date. And, you know, if one or two quizzes don't get turned in on time, it's not the end of the world. You can just email me and I can open it back up for you. But I do want to reiterate that having this Saturday due date is not an invitation to wait until Saturday to start the assessment. You should really be taking the quizzes as you work through the units during the week. Once we submit for grading, it will ask us to confirm that we really do want to do that. You'll receive an email receipt, but let's click continue. And let's scroll down to submitted assignments. And here you can see the feedback on the quiz you took. So you can see the right answers, you can see the wrong answers, and every question has feedback that you will see whether you get the right answer or the wrong answer. So I do go through and tell you how to do every question of every quiz. Um, that's all that's really coming to mind as far as this tutorial video goes. If you have any questions about the quizzes as you start to make your way through the course, just shoot me a message and I will get back to you.